Welcome back. This is Coin Metallurgist, and in this video, I'd like to talk uh, about bullion coins. Um, bullion coins are uh, rounds that are made of uh, precious metals that are are valuable because of the precious metal that's contained in them, um, and in many cases, uh, their collector's value um, is higher than that precious metal value. Um, many countries in the in in the world make uh, their own precious metal coins, their own bullion coins, and then uh, many uh, private companies also make their own coins. Um, what we're going to look at today uh, are a silver coin and a gold coin uh, from the United States uh, mint. Um, let's look at the silver one here first. Uh, this is a uh, coin called an American Silver Eagle. Um, it contains one ounce of silver, 99.9% uh, .9 pure silver. It says here, uh, one ounce fine silver, uh, one dollar. Um, on the reverse of the coin, we have a modification of the presidential coat of arms. Uh, we have the 13 stars at the top, but uh, more modernized uh, in orderly lines. We have the eagle, also somewhat more uh, modernized. Um, we got the the olive branch and the the arrows that symbolize the uh, powers of war and of peace. We have the shield with the thirteen stripes um, for the thirteen uh, col original colonies, and we have the motto in in the beak of the eagle. Um, so every component of the uh, presidential coat of arms is there. It's just uh, what I would call modernized um, for the coin. And the obverse of the coin has the same design as uh, Walking Liberty half dollars, um, which were the half dollars of the United States uh, much earlier on. Um, and I would say that this, this design is also uh, modernized. The uh, rays of the sun here are very uh, organized and and very almost uh, mechanical, and the detail on these coins is is excellent. Um, th this coin uh, in particular is somewhat unique. Um, because uh, when the World Trade Center um, was attacked and the and collapsed on September 11th, 2001, um, in the bank vaults there were a certain number of these American Silver Eagles, and they were uh, collected and they were slabbed um, and and noted on there. You know uh, the the quality. This one is gem uncirculated. And it says the year and what the coin is, and then it says uh, 91101 World Trade Center Ground Zero Recovery. Um, just to to make this coin somewhat of a collector's item, and and it's you know it's it's uh, slabbed by a professional um, company that is grading coins of all types, um, and so that makes this coin. Uh, much more significant to me than just any uh, American Silver Eagle coin, and so its uh, its value to me is much more than than the one ounce of silver uh, that it contains. Um, the gold coin that we have here is a half ounce gold coin. Uh, the obverse is similar to having a Walking Liberty, except the fact that this Walking Liberty uh, is facing outward and we can see you know almost like Washington DC down here and the rays of the Sun are all around and the reverse of the American Gold Eagle 
You know, it says one half, one and a half ounce fine gold. And it has a whole uh, family of eagles. It's got one big eagle, two big eagles, a couple little eagles, and a nest. Um, the design of the American gold eagle is the same, uh, no matter what the silver or the gold uh, content is. Uh, they're just different sizes. Um, the American uh, or the United States produced uh, bullion coins tend to uh, always be worth fairly m more than uh, just the the precious metal value in the coins um, and typically seem to do fairly well as compared to other uh, countries uh, bullion coins as far as their value goes um, so they're a fairly good uh, investment coin to have um, and they're quite beautiful designs uh, to have uh, just a couple examples of to show people. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy collecting coins. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please make those below. Uh, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.